Hey guys, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a review for the PC remote. Now, you're probably interested in getting a product like this if you're looking to get something that is similar to a TV remote to use with your Raspberry Pi. And on your Raspberry Pi, you have something like Kodi hooked up so that you can uh, watch TV shows and movies and things from the internet. So... This little remote comes with a receiver that you just plug right in to the USB port on your Raspberry Pi and you don't have to install any software or anything like that. You just plug it in and it's ready to go um, just as if you were to use a regular keyboard. I was using just a traditional keyboard hooked into my Raspberry Pi 3. It was a bit annoying because every time I wanted to watch something new, I would have to get up, walk over to the player and you know, type something in or, you know, stand by the TV while I was trying to find something. Now I can just sit back in my chair and use this to search around and find something that I want to watch. So this remote, you can typically get somewhere between about three to eight dollars. It just depends on um, if you're buying it from China or the United States and if it comes with a battery or not. I got this one from China. It was about three dollars and fifty cents, somewhere in that range. It did not come with batteries. So I ordered five batteries from China as well that were about a dollar, so not too bad at all. Um, I also used this remote on my desktop PC, and um, obviously if you're just on your desktop, you're probably going to be using a traditional keyboard and mouse, but this will work. Uh, I, I tried it out over there. The mouse trackpad worked really nicely. Um, you know, the buttons, they feel, they got some pretty good uh, traction and you can feel them click when you click on them. Uh, the plastic, you know, it's just your cheap run of the mill plastic, not going to fall apart unless you, you know, sit on the remote or throw it against the wall or something. Um, not going to be the greatest build quality here, but I mean, that's what you'd expect from something that's just a few dollars. Um, something that you're not going to want to use this remote for is going to be typing. You can see, uh, let's see if we can focus there a little bit. You can see the little letters there above the keys. It's kind of like uh, text messaging, um, you know, back with a flip phone. It's kind of like that. I don't recommend it. Mainly, it's just something to move around. So as you can see, it's pretty responsive. Um, I'm just using the back and forth keys right now. But uh, I'll select videos. Uh, go down to add-ons and then you can see I have Exodus here. If you're interested in getting Exodus on your Kodi Media Player, I made a video about that quite a long time ago. I'll throw a link to that uh, down in the video description if you're interested in accessing that. But the main keys that I'm using on this are just the arrow keys and the enter button. Click enter on Exodus, it fires right up and then you can go in and search movies and TV shows. I'll click on movies here um, and maybe I'll just go to most popular and then it's working and loading the most popular movies right now that are on Exodus and then it's loaded up and you can see right now we have Beauty and the Beast, Logan and all these other movies but again you know you just work your way through the menu there and select what you want and go from there but I'm pretty happy with this remote. Uh, I wasn't expecting a lot given the very affordable price. Um, it's certainly a little bit better than I was expecting. I just wanted it first and foremost to work and it certainly does that. And that's really all I was expecting at this price point. Uh, as long as I don't sit on this remote or something, it should be good to go and stand the test of time. But uh, all the buttons feel pretty solid and Certainly, unless, you know, you press in a button really hard or something, you're probably going to be good with the quality of this remote. And it's probably going to last you quite a while. Very cheap option to get something that's more like a traditional TV remote for your Raspberry Pi um, Kodi player. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, if you have any questions, you can throw those down in the comment area or comments of your own on this particular remote. Um... But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this thing. It's been working out well, and I'm pretty happy with it. So thanks, guys, for stopping on in for today's review. Uh, if you want more tech content in the future, you can click that subscribe button. And 
Uh, also, like I said, I have a video where I show you the process of getting Exodus on your Kodi player. Uh, I'll throw a link that, to that down in the video description. So thanks for stopping on in, and we'll see you in future videos. Bye.